The Lost Princess. Once upon a time, on a thunderous evening, the mighty seas roared the arrival of two little baby girls, who were born at the same time. One was a princess of the royal family from the far eastern hills. She was named Naomi, and the other girl, born to a humble shepherding couple, who lived in the great western meadows, was named Daisy. Over the years in the palace, Naomi was much loved by her parents. Her every demand was gladly fulfilled. Turning her arrogant. How pretty, Mama! Father, I want the moon. The moon? But how? I don't care how. I want it. But of course, sweetie. Me, 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 me. Guards, get the princess her moon immediately. Huh? Uh, yes, your highness. You sweetheart, all yours. Yay! Meanwhile, at the shepherd's home, Daisy, would you please clean your room? Mother. I will get dirt all over my dress. Please, you do it. Oh, oh, all right, honey. Daisy had been so pampered and spoiled in her upbringing that she had grown extremely proud. Am I not the prettiest? Do I not deserve the best? Deserve the best. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Born under the same star and stubbornly alike. Once you'll turn eighteen, I'll teach you both a lesson. So when the day came, the fairy godmother decided to visit Naomi's palace. No one listens to me. I'm tired of this palace. Are you really? Huh? Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. A fairy god? What? You said you don't like the palace anymore, right? Well. What if I give you the chance to live in another palace of your choice? Oh, I'd love to get away from here, but why would you do that for me? Like I said, I am your fairy godmother. Naomi found herself in a huge and dazzling picture gallery. What? Where am I? Oh, hello! You're in the room of choices. We pictures are magical, and if you step through us, you can go wherever you want. Yes, so pick me. No, choose me. Pick, pick me. me. No, choose, choose me. me. No, 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 me. Naomi gazed at a painting where the meadows were lush and endless, and rivers sparkled a brilliant blue. Oh, I feel, I feel as if this place is calling out to me. I choose this. She stepped through and disappeared within the painting. Meanwhile, the fairy had now gone to visit Daisy. My lovely hands! How can they ask me to do this work? <laughs> I don't want to stay here anymore. Is that so? Oh, who are you? 
The fairy godmother introduced herself, but Daisy stared on suspiciously. How can I believe you? Huh. Well, on your 16th birthday, you cried all day, all because you didn't get your desired gift. <gasps> How did you know that? Like I said, I'm your fairy godmother. Okay, let's see. Fairy godmother, uh, can you get me out of here? Of course. <gasps> Where am I? You're in the room of choices. You can go wherever you want by stepping through any of these magical pictures. Wow. Which do I pick? Choose me. Me, me. Daisy wondered, entranced by the lovely pictures. Hmm, that's my oh, boring home. Wait, who's that girl? It was Naomi, but Daisy, disinterested, moved on. She saw a picture of Naomi's kingdom with its grand castle and majestic waving flags. This is perfect. A palace. Oh, wow. Gritting happily to herself, she carefully passed through the painting. The girls had now reached each other's homelands as their fairy godmother watched on. Meanwhile, Naomi's parents were distraught at her disappearance. The king had sent his soldiers to every part of the kingdom and beyond, but none found her. Wow, such grandeur! But how do I enter? Quite suddenly, she spotted a royal maid. Ah, she must work at the palace. I'll try working there, too. That'll be my way of getting in. And thus, Daisy managed to get a job in the royal kitchens. But back home, her parents, in extreme distress, were searching desperately for her. Daisy? Oh, where are you? Oh. The shepherdess was astounded to see Naomi asleep on the ground. She had crossed the painting and had ended up lost and exhausted. When the princess awoke, she was surprised to find herself in a small thatched house. Where am I? Why, we found you near the bushes, fast asleep, and brought you here. You must be hungry. Don't you give me ordinary food. I'm a princess. The couple were surprised at this declaration. Maybe she's in shock. Poor girl. What are you whispering about? Get me something better to eat. Hmm. Here you go. Come, honey. Let our guest enjoy her meal. Naomi looked with displeasure at the food. But as her stomach growled in hunger, she ate it up. She didn't think about being grateful to them at all. As she descended the stairs after having eaten, she heard the couple whispering sorrowfully. That was the last goat cheese we had. No worry, love. We must be kind to the girl. After all, she is the same age as our daughter, and she reminds me of Daisy. We still have some bread and broth for our supper. Yes, at least we won't go hungry. What? That was the only thing they had, and they gave it to me? Naomi suddenly felt a pang of guilt for having behaved so rudely. She hadn't ever felt shame, which was now beginning to a good change in her ways. As the days went by, Naomi started to observe 
feel and help the poor couple bit by bit. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is delicious. I'm glad. Thank you for peeling the potatoes. Now eat up. While Naomi was changing for the good, Daisy was having a terrible time in the palace. Daisy, clean the dishes. Oh, y yes. Daisy, make sure the cutlery is spotless. Oh, oh yes. Daisy had acted sugary sweet with everyone there. But the people knew who she was through her smiles. I have to get out of this kitchen. Everyone here is mean. A person as good as me doesn't fit here. One day, Daisy learned of Naomi's disappearance through the others. As she recognized Naomi's picture, she had a sudden idea. Just what to do? Here you go. A little bit of salt, and a little bit more, and a little more. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who made this soup? Bring me that person. How dare you cook me something so terrible? I did it purposely to gain your highness's attention. You see, I know of your daughter's whereabouts. What? Where? She's in my homeland. I can lead you there, but. But? I want a reward for it. No reward, no princess. The king gritted his teeth, but at the thought of finding his beloved Naomi, he agreed. They soon left for the meadows. Daisy never thought of the harm she would bring upon her family. She only thought of receiving the reward. On reaching, they saw Naomi laughing with the shepherd and the shepherdess. It was difficult to recognize the once sullen princess, as she now had glowing red cheeks and a smiling face. Is, is that really Naomi? Naomi! Uh, you dare steal my daughter? Mother? Father? Wait! But the king was too enraged and set his guards on the poor couple. Seeing this, Daisy trembled in fear. We never knew she was a princess. Silence! You will be imprisoned. What? Daisy! You know her? She led us here, but she too shall be imprisoned. Oh no! Please, your majesty, take us if you won't. Spare my daughter. Seeing her parents plead for her, even after knowing she had hurt them, made her feel ashamed for always treating them so badly. Mother, father, I'm so sorry. I've been a terrible daughter. Suddenly, the fairy godmother appeared, full of smiles. Great king, it was me who persuaded Naomi to leave the palace so that she would learn how to be kinder. What? Dear shepherd, I persuaded your daughter to leave the meadows so that she would learn to be humble. And it seems that they've both learned their lessons well. I have. I'll never be so proud ever again. Oh, how wrongly I've behaved. Even when you knew I brought you this pain, you still shielded me. Sweetheart. We will love you no matter what. Father, 
please free them. They've looked after me really well, and I've learned so much from them. Thank you so much for what you've allowed me to learn. I now understand what a complete wretch I was, and promise to change myself. Thank you, Fairy Godmother. Oh, oh we, we are, are very, very sorry, sorry too, too for, for behaving, behaving the way we, we did. did. I'm really proud of you two, and will always be looking after you. Well, goodbye. Naomi and her parents waved goodbye to Daisy and her family and went back to the palace. Daisy, as promised, turned into such a humble and amiable daughter. It pleased her parents immensely. Naomi, too, grew to be sweet and kind, which surprised everyone, but they loved her all the more for it. The two girls had learned that by being humble and kind to others, you can only receive as much love as you give. But giving is more important than receiving. And I will always make sure they remember that.